Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a picture of some uh, cows, some hairy cows, on a mountain. I have no idea what breed they are, but I thought they were nice. So to start off, let's just crop in a bit. We don't need all that extra space. We'll give a little bit of space down here. We don't have the cow too close to the edge. And we don't need the sky. That's very distracting. But we'll keep the second cow as kind of a counterpoint. And we'll apply that. Now we're going to separately edit the cow here from everything else. So we need to select it. So I go to the selection brush. Make sure I've got snap to edges and soft edges on. And right square bracket, make that a little bit bigger. And just paint around it. Do the main area first. And then make the brush a bit smaller to fill in bits. Like there's a bit down here. Sometimes just quickly single clicks will extend it enough. There we go, that'll do. Then do refine. And we can see, often with this is a good idea just to paint all the way around. So make the brush a bit bigger here. And just paint across the edge for a bit. Just do it in sections. If it's a bit not quite worked, try again. It's better. Particularly over areas where it's going to be a bit tweaky like that. Here's, here's are always a good test of this kind of thing. And so on, just a quick roundup of everything there. There's a bit at the top there, isn't it? Okay, it'll do. I'll apply that. If you want to check it, go to Quick Mouse, hit Q, or go to the little click on the top up there, and see how well that's done. Things like this. With the Quick Mouse, it's a mask, so you use the paintbrush. Use black to get rid of that lot there. And that should do overall. And if there's anything like this you're not sure of, just increase this a bit here and just do a... So you've got a soft brush and that will soften the edge of that. So if there's anything there that's not quite taken in. But that's okay, we'll do that. So I will now turn off the quick mask. I want to save this selection. So I'll go to the channels and down to pixel selection here. Right click this and say create spare channel. So down here I've got that selection saved. So I can hit um, control D and get rid of it so I can see what I'm doing now. Sometimes that line around the edge is a bit of a distraction. So I'm, first of all, I'm going to go to HSL and bring this out a little bit, so increase the saturation. But if you go too far, that is just going to be rather a lot of this, isn't it? So I'm going to bring the luminosity down. And that takes it back, so it becomes more realistic, but it, in, it, it keeps that, that deeper colour. I'm going to apply the mask to this, so right click spare channel, load to HSL, shift adjustment alpha, and this applies it just to the cow that we've selected. So now what else? Let's, I think it could do with some sharpening. So I'm going to go to the live filters and high pass. No, look, it's gone to the wrong place there. Just keep an eye on that. Let's drag that above here. Things are appearing above here, by the way because if I go to the Assistant Manager, I've got adding adjustment layer to selection, add adjustment as new layer as opposed to child layer, so it goes above 
rather than below. And that's just so we can do a before and after easily later. So for high pass, turn on monochrome. And you, you can either, you can go up like this and so on to look, look for it. But often, often what I'll do is I'll zoom it in to an area where you've got that quite well there. So literally turn that down around here and high pass filter generally radius always less than one. And I'll show you what you can do to sharpen it up in a moment. So something like that. Check it, change to the linear light and see whether this how this works. Yeah, so around about 0 0.8, 0 0.9, some of that below one. And if you want to sharpen it more, click on this again and hit Control J and duplicate it. No, this is probably a bit over sharpened now, but that's not why we're going to stay. So I double click on that again and bring the radius right down to the minimum. 0.1, maybe 0.2. You can see the difference here. There's before and there's afters. There's a little bit of difference. It's just giving it a little bit more punch. And for each of these, I need to mask in. So I've got right click, load to my high pass alpha, right click there and bring that one in as well. OK, there we go. Now control zero to get back out again. Now we want to work on the background. So what we're going to do now is, first of all, we'll, um, we'll fade it down a bit. Um, it, let's, let's put a curves on here. I'll just load this on in here, but I need to hit control I on that to invert it. So now the mask is selecting just the background. So when I pull this down now, just the background kind of darkens off a bit. Just want to do a little bit of that so it's just not quite so, you know, eye grabbing. There you go. We'll also put in a HSL. Same thing here. Right click here, load to that, and Control I to force it onto the background. I'm just going to take down the saturation so colors don't intrude as well. So that's just put, pulling the background back so it's becoming less intrusive. That's OK. And I'm going to have another go now at this black cow because it's kind of like jumps out a little bit. Can we turn that down a bit? And the way to do that is go to, where is it, selected color. And again, mask it out the same way as the others. And then we're going to go to the color blacks because it's a black cow. And here you see you can, that's going to really pull that down. But if you pull it down just a little bit, that'll kind of fade that off a bit. Just a bit so it's not quite so dominant. What you can do as well is play with these here. So you don't want a red cow, but a bit of cyan's okay. And with a magenta, you don't want a green cow, but a bit of magenta's okay. But with yellow, you don't kind of want a yellow cow, but a little bit of blue is OK. And you can tweak these, it's so just a little bit you're adding, just to nudge it off that black so it's not quite so in your face. So if you do a before and after that, you can see it's just pushed the black off. And there you go. There's our overall picture. And we can now shift click here to select all of it and do a before. And after, before, and after. There you go. Hope you like that, and thank you very much for watching.